can't believe we're moving from our very first apartment together. We've been here in Charlotte, North Carolina for over a year now, and we're moving from all of this to this. And it's definitely a bigger upgrade than our van we had in 2020, but way smaller than our apartment. So we'll see how moving into this bad boys are gonna be. Let's get right into the video, woo! So first let's start with an apartment tour. There's not a whole lot to it. It's 650 square feet. This is a nice big couch. That's Santorini. That's where Ian and I got engaged. Our TV, just our overall living area right here. We literally do not drive our car if the weather is nice. Even when it wasn't nice, sometimes I don't want to move the van. It's so easy and fun. And if you move to Charlotte, you should definitely get an electric bike, preferably an ad motor. This is my friend's dog, Presley, and we are watching her for a few days while she's actually traveling in Europe, fun fact. But there's not much to her room, pretty small. We do fit a king size bed in here, but as you can see, no dresser, but it's okay, because we have a humongous closet. Looks bad in the lighting, because it's so low light but it is really nice in here. And then my favorite part is you walk right into the bathroom. I love getting out of the shower, wiping off and going right to my closet. I know I'm gonna have to have this in my future home. I love the kitchen, a nice big island. I could not be happier with our first apartment. I've been crying on and off. <laughs> so it's gonna be really hard to say goodbye to. Today is move out day. I cried all night. Every morning Ian wakes up before he goes outside and works. And then when I wake up around six or seven, I say Ian and he comes in and we snuggle. It's a good way to start the day. This move is actually a lot more complicated than you'd think because we have to ship stuff to Europe in the van, so everything needs to be in place. Then we have to move all of our stuff back into both of our parents' houses. They're being nice enough to let us do that. And then we have a month between the time we get to Europe with the van. So that means I need to make sure I have a certain amount of clothes for New York City and London and our hometown packed up and don't pack it in the van so we don't forget it. One of the hardest things about downsizing from an apartment into a van is picking very tiny details, like how many knives do you need? How many pans? Which pans do you need? We really do like to cook in our van now that we have a place to cook inside. So she's definitely bringing a lot more on this trip than our first van life trip. I have these really cute measuring cups and I'd love to bring all four, but I decided to go with just the half cup. That way I can double it for a full cup or half it for a quarter and it's smaller than the full cup. So these are like all the things you have to think about when choosing every single item. <laughs> Right now we're just putting in hangers. That is our first order of business. Anna's got a lot more clothes than I do. I only this have is, like four shirts I hang. <laughs> this is literally all I've been dreading. It's like, how do I fit all my clothes? Not to mention, I wanna buy clothes in Europe. Hello. We got Bailey here helping us. Thank One of our God. Charlotte friends. Are you down to do it down the stairs? Whatever you think. All right, there's three floors right here. This is the hard thing, it's a king bed. This looks like friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. They did it. The hardest part, Let's I go. think, is over. <laughs> well, Bailey helped us, so we're gonna give him some rum to go. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Bailey. Last shot in Charlotte. How is it? Oh, yeah. Any good? Good stuff. It's nice. We're almost done packing up the U-Haul, which Anna's dad's gonna be taking tomorrow morning. Decided to treat ourselves for that success by getting some uh, barbecue. Anna, what is this place called? Midwood Smokehouse. It's our favorite in Charlotte. We got pork sandwiches, and we're gonna watch The Office. This used to be where our bed was, and now we just brought in a random table, and it's getting sadder and sadder. <laughs> Day two of packing here. We slept on our mattress topper that's gonna go in our van last night. Wasn't too bad. And that's Palmer. We call him Poopsie. That's Anna's family dog, another Boston Terrier in this video. But before we finish up packing today, we wanna show you a little bit around where we live here in Charlotte. Kinda take you on the bike and go get some coffee. <laughs> 
going to get coffee at one of our cute little neighborhood shops, which we're gonna miss. It's our last time getting coffee there. Not just coffee is one of our neighborhood spots we love going to. They have different locations all over Charlotte. Another one of my favorite cafes slash coffee shops is Giddy Goat. I wanna give a shout out because it's amazing workspace, but also they got great food there too. Ian actually had this phase after we came home from Paris and Rome and he had a lot of editing to do. He had a phase of trying a new coffee shop every day. So he's definitely an expert on the best coffee shops to work at because he would rank them by like how many outlets they have, how many chairs they have. Every Saturday morning in South Bend of Charlotte, you have farmer's, farmer's market. market. So during our year in Charlotte, we used our bike 99% of the time to go get groceries, doctor's appointments, dinners. You could basically take it anywhere all over the city because it's very bikeable here. They got bike lanes, paths, they have the rail trail, which is very wide open. And if you're interested, I will have a link to our ad motor in the description below. This is a bike we know and trust. It is a two-seater, so it's amazing for friends and family that come into town. And we are out of here. Boy, and how are we doing? Hurry up, I gotta go, man. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Carrie and Boyan came all the way down from Cleveland to help us move. We're almost done with the U-Haul. Last thing to go in is this bike. Are you locking him all in Alright, let's go. No. <laughs> what do you want now? Alright, we are all packed up. And ready to leave. <laughs> yeah, ready to get Boyan to get going. Bye, Dad. Thanks for coming on, to help. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, have a safe trip, guys, to Baltimore. Come give me a kiss. Have a safe trip, man. Thanks, I'll talk to you. All right, bye. So where am I going? You're going left, honey. <laughs> left. Polar, how are you doing? Did you come visit me and you have to leave already? Oh, no. But I'm going to come hang out with you in Cleveland. Yeah. Bye. Let me tell you, I feel bad for parents out there because you don't get rid of your kids forever. That's what Anna and I are thinking about. We're like, when should we have kids? Well, we still want to be selfish for a while because when you have a kid, you never not have a kid again. Thank you to our parents for helping, Anna's parents for helping a lot. And everything left in here will be put into our van and shipped to Europe. So we're almost done, Ann. We are almost done. After letting Anna's parents go, we are at our favorite lunch spot for Sammy's. Common Market, this is a staple in Charlotte. And there's one right next to our apartment in South End. So easy, you just walked here. I'm so happy we're almost done packing but we still have a lot to do, especially shipping our van to Baltimore. We have no idea about that process. Look at this. We finally put the bed up and this is how it's gonna ship to Europe. Also, huge thing in van life is getting a nice vacuum because it's a very small space that can get dirty fast. So look at my spot where I put our vacuum. I'm doing it one arm. Boom, right behind the driver's seat and it fits perfectly. Goes all the way back. The amount of storage in this van compared to our last one is unbelievable, especially because we got a rooftop bag up there for extra storage. I swear, I haven't even put stuff up here yet. Welcome to our cozy home. You close the door. Oh, look at this. And then I'm gonna do the movie projector. Pull it out. Remember, you have to be careful. So be us watching movies? Yeah, we'll turn our pillows this way and we'll be able to have a projector right there. Look at this vibe. This place is where so many amazing things happen. Originally, we just needed a place to come home to from our travels, and it gave us so much more than just a home. We met some new amazing friends. This is the apartment that we got married. Yeah, we got married this year. Where we bought a new van. To the class, released a lot of great YouTube videos for you guys. This is like a place where we had our routine together. We watched Harry Potter's during Christmas time and then we went on walks every morning. It's, it's kind of like our safe place. Yeah. We love it here so much, and we're always gonna miss Charlotte and the people here. But I'm glad we made this video so we could always look back at our apartment. I know, it's so cute. It is cute. So these are our last seconds in the apartment, but I'm not as sad as you think, because I know who it's going to. One of my best friends from college, Jackie, she was actually my roommate as well, is moving in, so at least we'll see the apartment on our, um, like her stories and her posts, and we'll hear all about it. Where'd you move from? Um, I'm from New Jersey, so I drove eight and a half hours here this morning. I'm excited. Woo -woo! Mm -hmm. Welcome to the new place, Jackie. Enjoy the bubblies.
Anna. We gotta go to Baltimore. I don't wanna go to Baltimore. We have to. This is more than imagine. This is more. And right out here is officially our new crib. I'm having all the regrets. <laughs> She's having a lot of regrets. <laughs> this is a big move. I'm excited. I know. Last night, everything was blinking on the dashboard. Our blinkers weren't working. Our backup camera wasn't working. A lot of things were malfunctioning. Definitely a technical issue. But randomly today, it was just fixed. And now we're kind of sketched out. We're about to ship this van to Europe. There's no way we can get like a Ram appointment at the dealership. So we're kind of winging it. It's only at 30,000 miles. So this van should not have problems. And I know a lot of you are about to go down in the comments below and be like, you shouldn't have bought that type of car, but we believe in it and I hope for the best. But we gotta get this bad boy on a ship.